Welcome back. It is a cold, snowy Sunday morning here at Mason Dixon Acres. It's been below freezing for like three or four days straight now. And this has been the constant battle for these cold days. We are battling with some frozen water. This is after we've already changed this once this morning. We've already got a big block of ice in here. So before we go out and spend a bunch of money on an Amazon heated water kit, I'm gonna see if we can make one cheaper. We are Alex and Elena, a couple in our mid-20s working towards financial independence and self-sustainability. Follow our journey as we grow, build, fix, and learn the skills we need to get us there. So I'm basing this design off an idea I found online. I went to Goodwill on the way in from work the other night and picked up this $2 cookie tin. And the idea is I'm going to put a light bulb in here to see if I can get it to stay warm enough to keep the water thawed out. So I got this tin and then I scrounged through my miscellaneous electrical box to find these two components. So I found this really old 8 foot lamp cord, it's literally just a plug with two wires off the end and then this old uh, lamp light bulb socket. Step one, I'm gonna connect these two with some R caps. If I didn't have this hardware just laying around, I would have gone to Goodwill to just buy an old lamp and take that apart. I'm gonna put my bulb in here and just do a quick test of this. For this particular fixture, the collar on this is preventing my light bulb from making contact with the bottom, so I'm gonna cut this back a little bit. I decided I'm going to use the cookie tin upside down. I'm going to mount the light bulb here like this. And then when this is on, I'll just sit the water on top. Hopefully it should keep it warm enough. I wrapped the wire knots in electrical tape just for some added safety. To prevent chafing, I also put some electrical tape around this cutout. All right, here's the maiden voyage. I'm just gonna put it right outside the coop. Plug it into the electricity we ran this summer. Very convenient. Now we'll see if that stays liquid. Uh, if, it, if it does freeze, we might have to upgrade our light bulb size. I think it's like a 40 watt or maybe a 30 watt light bulb in there right now. So we'll come back tomorrow and see if it's still liquid. The girls really wanted to go out and explore, so we let them out. You can see their cute little footprints. Where are you girls going? I think they're slowly realizing that everything is frozen. And there's not much out here to explore. Well, of course, the day I put in our water heater, it's above freezing for the next couple days, so we didn't get a good chance to test it, but last night it was down in the 20s and it is still below freezing this morning, so let's see if it worked. No ice. I can definitely feel the warmth from the light bulb in there. So that's good, I think it works. Thanks for watching, hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. We'll see you next time.